Hello, my name is Philip. I'm a visitor assistant here at the Sir John Soane's Museum. And one of my favourite objects out of the 53,000 items we have here is this extraordinary and rare astronomical clock in Sir John Soane's library dining room. It was made in Paris in 1810 by Zachary Rengold. He was a preeminent clockmaker to the Napoleon dynasty, amongst others. It belonged to Frederick Duke of York, brother of King George IV, and when he died in debt in 1827, Sir John So managed to acquire this clock for £75, and it stood on this very elegant library table for the best part of the last 200 years. You'd be forgiven for thinking the clock case was made of a hard stone. It certainly looks like it, but this is wood, and it's Amboyne wood. It's a tropical hardwood that's been French polished to give it the appearance of a marble. The clock case, the form of it, is a classical temple and it's displayed under this wafer-thin original glass dome. As well as telling the time on the main clock face, which is a beautiful silver dial, which I can show you with my torch, it also shows you the days of the week which are picked out in French around the outer area of the dial. But what makes this clock very special is not necessarily the timepiece, it's the highly intricate clockwork model of the solar system that you see on top. It's called an orrery, the Earth here with that paper gore showing all the countries mapped in the early 19th century. The moon in the middle, small, silvered on one side and blued brass on its darker side. And the sun, bright and bold, made of gilt bronze. The clock operates on a four-year lunar cycle and there is a separate ivory handle on the right-hand side of the clock that will start the mechanism for the orrery. When that happens, it will still tell the time, the days of the week, but it will also tell you the days of the month, the month of the year. And you will then notice the rotation of the Earth on its own axis, the movement of the Moon around the Earth, the movement of the Earth around the Sun, that revolving dial above the Earth will show the time in any country in the world. And it also has a built-in adjustment for leap years. Around the outside of the ring are signs of the zodiac. And they're depicted in a beautiful, ornate, gilt ormolu. There are only five of these clocks that survive anywhere today. Sir John Soane loved complex mechanisms, and this one clearly fascinated him. We reopen on the 1st of October. Please download a free ticket from our website and come and explore and revisit the Soane Museum.